Brad. Yes, chef. Let's go. What is it? Curry bass with uh, crustacean tomato pasta. When Brad took his dome off, I was just like, you know, like, oh my god. I just wanted to take my little dish and just kind of slither away. Um, a lot of work has gone into that dish. Yes, chef. Connie. Is it a rustic tomato, uh, rustic chicken stew, chef? Mm -hmm. mm, it's nice, it's quite fresh. Um, rustic, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. It was hard to identify which one was the winner, because they're both good. That one is the draw, 1-1. One, one. Thank you, chef. After the first round, the score is 1-1. One to one. I didn't think mine was going to be a draw, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Um, I definitely thought that my, uh, my dish was uh, superior. Jen yes. and Josh. I did a classic take on um, steak and eggs for breakfast. It's like it's off Julia's menu. From you, I expect a little bit more, to be honest. Yes, chef. Half an hour to make that. And the steak and eggs was Bonnie's idea. Oh, we can get steak and eggs. Let's do that. Oh, all right. Good. Should have said something that I wanted to do something else. OK, Josh, blow me away. Yes, chef. What is it? You have the chicken leg and some pea tendril and stuff the inside of the chicken with it. Just taste that sauce. Oof. Yeah. Highly acidic. You're a professional chef. I just, I, I expect more from you. The chicken is not cooked all the way through. The sauce is disgusting. Yeah. And it's just crap. I'm disappointed in both of you. Zero for both of you. Back in line. With no points awarded for this round, the score remains tied at one each. Now, it all comes down to the Waffle House cook versus the executive chef. Rock, please. What is it? Surf and turf with a, a petite uh, ribeye uh, and the uh, pan-seared bass. It's delicious. Thank you. You've done it with finesse. Thank you. Julia, let's go. I don't really see anything that could go wrong with my dish. What is that? It's deep-fried um, sea bass. So, fish and chips? Fish and chips. Especially just for me, or would you put that on the menu? I would put that on the menu. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's nice, but it's fish and chips. And we're... Hi, Nani. OK. Congratulations. Men, you've won. Thank you, sir. Men, well done. Thank yes, you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. We won. We put the girls away, so I'm happy. That's why I can't stop smiling. Vinny is attempting to prepare the Dover Soul special. Is that burnt, Vinny? I can see it from here. It looks fucking dark. Is that burnt, yes or no? No, chef. It's got a rosy golden brown on it. Get it on the hot plate. Vinny! Yes, chef. I thought by this stage you'd tell me the truth. I'm telling you, one nicely cooked there, yeah, and one that is cooked to fuck. Yes, chef. I am in Chef Ramsay's crosshairs. If the blue team loses tonight, I definitely think Ramsay wants to, uh, to send me back to New Jersey. I've never seen such illiterate fucking cooking in all my life. While Vinny's burnt fish is holding up the men, the Red Kitchen is pushing out appetizers, thanks to Jen's leadership. Come on, guys, come on! Jen! Yes, Chef. Very nice, that spaghetti. Thank you, Chef. There we go, let's go. I can't believe we're on our third table appetizers. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Seven minutes to window, yes? Yes, Chef. Good job, girls, good job. Good job. Wow. Welcome. Despite Vinny's trouble on the fish station, Dover Soul is finally leaving the Blue Kitchen. And it's up to Aaron to serve at tableside. Good evening. How are you tonight? My name's Aaron. I have the honor of deboning your fish for you tonight. <laughs> Better you than me. Very good. Quick, 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 quick. quick. This is a bony fish. <laughs> it's very flaky, very delicate, per cooked to perfection for you. <laughs> Almost ready. <laughs> uh, 
Aaron finally got the Dover filleted. You're Dover soul now. Thank you. Enjoy. Unfortunately, it took 15 minutes, and the fish. Could be a little hotter. Bread was good. Could be a lot hotter. Eddie! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. All of you, taste it. It's way too peppery, and you wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig. Get off the section. Yes, chef. Get off. Yes, chef. It's embarrassing. I'm actually ashamed of myself. I just had a shitty day. I can't believe it. On there, two risotto. Back to your station. Yes, chef. While Brad tries to take control of the appetizers in the blue kitchen, Joanna realizes she's forgotten to cook the lettuce for the next order. He's gonna fucking kill me, dude. I forgot to put the fucking lettuce on. Lettuce, please. Come on, guys. Oh, no, look, she's not even talking to me now. You're not even... Yes, chef. Hey, what are you doing with that? Have you forgotten the lettuce? Yes, chef. Joanna, why can't I be told that someone's fucking forgot the lettuce? What have you been doing for the last hour? Chef, I got to get control of my shit, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to go back to the room. You know, even if I do break down or anything, I'm still going to keep going. You OK? Girl, I got to get my shit together. I cannot be out here like this tomorrow. Okay. You're OK. 